Hello everyone and today we will speak about the drawing sheets, how we can prepare it, how you can use the, the project browser and filters, also what is that scope box and how you can use it. So let's get started. And first what I want to show you, let's go to the uh, our uh, side view and here we have as you see the two our building. For example, I want uh, for one list put the one building, for the other list the second one. Let's create new sheets. Let's do, do some standard one. As you see, this is empty. Let's go back to the side view. And now I will use the scope box. For that one I will go to the view. And here you can find scope box. Let's choose them. And let's draw it something like that. Okay, nice. Uh, let's go to the visible. Let's check it. Okay, everything okay. Now I'm going to the uh, level zero. And now I want to use the scope box for this view. So for that one, should define here the extents, here the scope box. And we will use the scope box number two. So this is scope box number two. And now we can go to the our new list and I'll just move my new view here and as you see the, the we get the our view. Uh, also you can prepare it by view template. Just let's do, let's do it. I already did it. So I will copy it like building to let's call it like B1. Okay, and what I did it here. Uh, first if we will go to the um, Revit links, I'm using the half tone. But now I will use the half tone for this building. Let's apply it. And I will show you what changed. The second building now is half tone. So it's uh, more useful because uh, you don't want to show the other building, but it's too near to the existing building and you should show them. But you want to hide some detail from them. You can use the half tone for the second building. Yeah, my second building, this is a link, as you see. The one building, it's also link, and the second building, also the link. So what uh, so what I'm using here and else, actually nothing. This uh, Everything here standard. You can leave it like that. Uh, also, what I want to change here, the uh, display model. Uh, I'm I saving like the normal. Detail level, the fine because uh, in the standard it will be in the middle and also I was to prepare the shadows because I so much love to use the uh, show ambient light so let's apply let's OK and as you see we get the nice view for example if I will go to the level 1 now I will also use here first I will use here the uh, my view template B1 and as you see the my second building now it's half tone and what i will use the second thing as you know scope box scope box number two we did it so let's go back here and let's drag and drop the second one so as you see i get the my second floor here so the second question how you can prepare like this uh, prepare your um, levels like building one building two actually it's pretty easy just right click on the views and here the project project organization and edit and here you can uh, group it by some uh, by some parameter I'm grouping like title on the sheet cost and on this title I'm using building one so that's why Revit understand it's like uh, one title that's why it's stacking on one like building one or building two so if I will choose the something else for example uh, let's like view name let's apply it and as you see it's already in, in uh, Revit not stuck it like a building one and building two. Let's leave it. Let's uh, switch it back. Title on the sheet. And we get our parameter back. So if you will go to the uh, building two, 
uh, here the my building tool you can see building tool this view using the building for the title on the sheet so uh, actually in Revit you can use the any parameters for grouping some views or uh, using like a filter this is only up to you so what else we can use with this score box as you see here we can create the section this print is simple we just we will go to the uh, east for example east view let's use the uh, north view here the our building now we're using again the score box number two and uh, as you see this here our building of course we can uh, change it and let's go to the 3d view to prepare our score box here is my the second scale score box now I'll just extrude it like this and maybe a bit uh, to the ground something like this let's go back to the, our north view and as you see we get our building so as we did it before now I need view template uh, here we don't have uh, our team view template because we are using the elevation so uh, I will do the second thing I'll just use uh, the shortcut uh, VV and here the, in Revit links I will use uh, half tone for the building I don't remember building one or building two let's check it no for building one no actually it's for building two sorry let's check it I think it is so and again if you we'll go to the list if we will use the north just like drag and drop here we are here is our building so actually this is uh, pretty simple how you can create uh, uh, views and put it uh, on the drawing sheets also you can uh, do it uh, with sections for example I'll show you how you can do it uh, let's go to the um, site site plan where is it here now we'll go to the view section and maybe I want to show section like this uh, and let's switch it here and let's extend it a bit and here they are our section 2 so let's go to the section 2 uh, now I'm using again the scope box second one like this and view template we don't have it so I will use again shortcut VV uh, Revit halftone apply yes it's working it's halftone here and okay also I want to uh, ambient light so let's go here graphic and ambient light and maybe smooth uh, lines so like this let's go back to the our uh, sheets and just drag and drop our section here it is so this is pretty simple things how you can do it fast uh, but if you need to more explain uh, you want to know about the filters or something else you always can leave some comments thumbs up and uh, I'll try to do like more explanation about that thank you guys for watching see you next time